Gabor Vona is one of Europe's most high-profile right-wing politicians. His Jobbik party, with its flags and its marches and its frequently anti-Semitic rhetoric, has three seats in the European Parliament and over 40 in the Hungarian one. We are special here in Europe, but not because we're the most anti-Semitic nation, but because even if all of Europe is at their feet, even if all of Europe licks their feet, we won't do it, even then. His ideas may be extreme, but he's done well at the polls. Ahead of new elections, Vona claims he plans to address Hungarians living in London on Sunday. Campaigners like London politician Andrew Dismore say he must be banned. We've all long had laws against incitement to race and religious hatred, and this is what this man is about to do. But the prospects of actually prosecuting him on a flying visit from Hungary are zero. He should not be allowed to come here and spread that message in the first place. The visit, if it goes ahead, will take place on the eve of Holocaust Remembrance Day in the UK, and that's heightened sensitivities within the Jewish community and more widely so, a petition has been presented to the Home Secretary asking her to issue an exclusion order which will prevent him from entering the country. But to do that, authorities must be convinced he presents a danger to security and public order. The Home Office refuses to comment on his particular case. In 2009, similar attempts were made to ban right-wing Dutch politician Geert Wilders from coming to the UK. Those attempts failed and he made a high-profile visit. Some say exclusion orders against people like this damage freedom of speech. I think it's far better to let this person into the country, debate him, and his views will be exposed for what they are, which is nonsensical and incoherent. If we let him into this country, he'll most probably lose support. For most people, the views of Gabor Vona and his party deserve to be consigned to the outlying fringes of acceptable politics. But the far right is gaining traction across Europe. The question is whether banning him is the right way to confront his views and his policies. Simon McGregor Wood, Al Jazeera, London.